Shale, Come Out of Yours, Season 2, Episode 7, November 14, 2022. A free service from the People's Motivation Bureau. I've always been told we're just a bunch of nuts thrown in the basket and shaking around. (laughs) But everyone has their own shale, and we need to learn to come out of our shale, to be able to be useful and to relate to others. The same thing is true with an acorn. It has to find some way to come out of the shale, to take root, and to produce a tree. And the same thing is true of all the other kinds of nuts. You have to find some way to get them opened up or softened up enough to get the meat that's on the inside out, the food, the nutrition, which can be used in many different ways. In this particular group of episodes, Daily Doses, we will be looking at ways to soften the shell and open up. These are keys to becoming more productive and to help us come out of our shell in all areas of our life. Monday Smile. It costs nothing but creates much. It enriches those who receive it without bankrupting those who give. It happens in a flash, and the memory of it sometimes lasts forever. No one is so rich that they can get along without it, and no one is so poor but they become richer for a smile. Yet it cannot be purchased, begged, borrowed, or stolen. For a smile is something that is no earthly good to anybody unless it's given away. And if it ever happens that someone should be too tired to give you a smile, why not leave one of yours? For no one needs a smile so much as those who have none to give. Learning to smile is a key to life, a key to relationships. Learning to smile, it helps us come out of our shell. Tuesday, not only smile, but learn to be open. Open posture can non-verbally communicate empathy, sincerity, respect, and closed posture may imply discomfort, irritation, and anger. When we close our arms or we close our body, almost curling up into a protective zone, then we will never get out of our shell. Keeping a positive body language suggests that you are approachable, attentive, and open to new ideas. Our use of body language and communication is often unconscious, but an improved posture will give the impression that a person is really focused and interested. So open up your stance. These are the kinds of persons that you would like to relate to. Be the kind of person that attracts you. These are the kinds of persons that have fun, that you would like to have fun with. Be that person yourself. Others will be attracted to you. Wednesday, not only smile and learn to be open, but lean forward. You see, leaning forward shows that you are engaged and interested. But be respectful of the other person's space. That means in most business situations, stay about two feet away and watch your posture. Learn to face people, however, to have an open stance, to open up your face and your eyes and be wide awake and alert and paying attention. Bad posture, like slouching, may indicate the listener's bored or uninterested in the conversation, but in contrast, if the person you are speaking to is standing or sitting still upright and leaning forward, they are signaling that they are focused, attentive, and engaged in the conversation. Practice that. Practice it on people. Practice it on all the kinds of things you do throughout the day whether in relationships or business or just casual times. Learn to practice every day. Thursday, learn to practice that smile, be open, lean forward, and learn the art of appropriate touching. 
You see, humans are social animals, and research shows touch builds emotional connection and is fundamental to social communication. Touch is essential to early childhood development, and several studies have shown that people can communicate emotions solely through touch. Now, throughout your life, you will relate to many people. Oftentimes, it's family. Sometimes, it's friends. Sometimes, it would be business associates. But if you look back on your life, you can find many times where a touch from someone else appropriately has really helped you to grow and to grow in a stronger relationship. Communicating through touch is another important non-verbal communication behavior. Touch can be used to communicate affection, familiarity, sympathy, and other emotions. Friday, not only smile and be open and lean forward and learn to use touch appropriately, but remember eye contact. Making eye contact helps most people focus on the conversation and read facial expressions. This can improve understanding, and improving understanding can significantly improve communication between two people. It's very disturbing when you try to speak with someone and look at them in the eye, and you just can't find those eyes. They keep bouncing around. But for some reason, they do not want to look at you. Don't be that kind of person. Practicing good eye contact is an essential skill for effective communication. But most people underestimate its ability to make a difference, particularly in the business world and even beyond. Maintaining eye contact with someone you are talking to displays interest and tells them they are important and you are actively listening. Remember, you like that. You like people to look at you and to appear interested and to make eye contact. So you be that kind of person. Saturday, not only smile and be open, leaning forward, learning to touch appropriately and making eye contact, but learn the art of nodding. Yep, if you nod your head, You're not only signaling agreement, but you are priming the other person to respond positively to you. When one person nods, most people feel an unconscious urge to nod back. Start by nodding in agreement when the other person talks. But now this may take practice. I've often seen where people shake their heads sideways when trying to make a positive statement. That's contradictory. It's like when we eat food and say, mmm, mmm, good, and shake our head sideways. Uh, This is really saying it's not so good. So when we say, mmm, mmm, good, we need to nod our heads up and down. I mean, nodding the head almost everywhere in the world means yes. And shaking the head from side to side means no. It's kind of a universal language, a Slight head nod is used as a greeting gesture, especially when two people greet each other from a distance. The simple nod sends the message, yes, I acknowledge you. Let's remember to not nod off in conversations, but to nod yes to people and pay attention. Sunday Synopsis and Study Questions To help soften your shell and allow you to come out to a more productive life in all areas, smile often, open your posture, lean forward, touch appropriately, make eye contact, and nod agreement. Learn to soften that shell. and Use this word to help you remember these keys to success. In what ways have you used your smile more effectively this week? Pause and reflect. Have you caught yourself in a closed posture, and how did you change it this week? Pause and reflect. 
In what specific way did you start leaning forward in a conversation this week, and what result did you find? Pause and reflect. In what one way did you find to use appropriate touching to enhance your encounters this week? Pause and reflect. When you used more eye contact this week, what did you discover that you had never noticed before? Pause and reflect. When you tried nodding in agreement this week, did you notice any response that was different from the past? Pause and reflect. This is Daryl R. Peebles, the man behind the microphone, bringing you something positive each day from the Peebles Motivation Bureau, both positive, personal, and professional. Remember, there are three divisions, digital, real life, and print. But in the digital, we have not only the YouTube channel, but the website, Zoom events, and much more. In the real life, we do pulpit supply, funerals, weddings, magic shows, keynote speakers, and more. And in the print division, not only books, but magazine articles, newspapers, and custom artwork. Locally ordered books from me can get signatures and special discount. This one is already out and about, helping others. Churches and pastors have special discounts. I appreciate you, your ideas and support. Keep them coming. These are other areas that I might be able to help you. And these are my contact points. This is Daily Dose of Daryl responding to the free and gracious gift of God. I am using humor, the art of illusion, modern technology, and decades of serving God and communities to work every day to uncover the beauty in all people and experiences coming my way, endeavoring to educate, entertain, and inspire. Each dose on this channel can help move us toward a better, healthier, and more informed mind, body, and spirit. I'm excited to be a small part of the expanding of our capacity to learn, love, and forgive, and together leave this world a better place for all. God bless you.